Let me make it clear that I'm delighted when I see people with active minds trying to tackle the great unknowns in the universe. It's a beautiful thing that people want to participate on this frontier. What can happen is if you're a fan of a subject, let's say, a hobbyist, let's call it, it's possible to know enough about that subject to think you're right, but not enough about that subject to know that you're wrong. And so there's this sort of valley in there, a valley of false confidence. This has been studied by others, and it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's a phenomenon where a little bit of knowledge, you overassess how much of that subject you actually know. And then when you learn even more, you realize, no, I didn't know as much as I thought I did. So then there's a sort of a lull there. And then when you learn even more, you come back up. Ultimately, learning enough to know whether you were right or wrong. To become an expert means you spend all this time. It doesn't happen overnight. You can't just sit in an armchair and say, I'm now an expert. It requires years and years of study, especially looking through journals where new ideas are published and contested. That's what we have learned is the most effective means of establishing that which is objectively true or determining that which is objectively false. Both of those work hand in hand to move the needle on our understanding of the universe.